The man is married. <gasps> Give me a break. He's been separated for four years. Besides, you want to talk. We're not talking about me. We're talking about you. And more specifically, the effect your relationship with Stuart Mitchell is having on Casey. Oh, so it's my fault you trashed the classroom. Well, I think you have to take some of the responsibility, yes. Just like you did, eh, Dad? Don't you think it's a little bit hypocritical of you to talk to me about having an affair with a married man? I mean, what about Bobby? I'd like to point out that you were still married to my mother when you had a child to another woman. How do you think I felt when I found out about that? A little like Casey's feeling right now, I should think. I'll see you later. Is everything all right? No, Alice, everything's all wrong. Donald, there is no need to snap. Well, I'm sorry, Marilyn. I don't mean to take it out on you. It's just that, well, I can't help thinking that there's some truth in what Rebecca said. I mean, who am I to criticize her? Donald, you have always set such a wonderful example for everyone. I mean, you've done so much for me. Even right back to when I was at school, you were my mentor. And not just when I was at school, you educated me out of school. You gave me special care and attention. I never would have made it much of my life, Donald, if it hadn't been for you. Yes, but that's just the point. I mean, can't you see? I've spent my whole life being this, this pillar of the community, guiding and shaping other people's lives, and it's all a sham. No, no, look, look, please, just, just hear me out, will you? I mean, when it came to the most important job of all, of being a father, I made a complete mess of it. And that's about the kindest thing I can say about it. So who am I to tell anyone else how to run their life? Well, that's a cheery little number. Yeah, it's one of the elective's compositions. It's actually quite advanced. It's got a lot of complex harmonic tension. Mm, yeah, that's just what I was thinking. Who wrote it? Anyone I know? Casey. Aren't you going to finish playing it? Well, that's just it. It's not finished. I guess we're going to have to wait and see how she's going to resolve it. Anyway, Maz, what's on your mind? You obviously didn't come here to talk about music. No, I didn't. I came to tell you how hurt Donald was about what you said. Yeah, well, I meant to hurt him. Oh, Rebecca, you don't mean that. Look, we all make mistakes. To err is human after no, all. you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I went through all those years knowing that my father had another child he loved more than me. I hated Bobby. I wish he'd never been born. Rebecca, he didn't love Bobby more than you. She just needed him more. Rebecca, she had a horrible life. She was adopted out to a bad family. He just wanted to make something up to her. Look, they say... Let he who was without sin cast the first stone. Now look, Donald isn't without sin, but neither are you and neither am I. And yet everybody around here is hurling stones around like it was the final round of the shot putting Olympics. Rebecca, I have never seen Donald like this. He feels as if he's failed his family completely. And you're it. You're all he's got. You're his only flesh and blood. Lovely. Thank you. Dad, I've been thinking about what I said before and I had no right to judge you. It seems to me a habit of mine. What you had with Bobby, I was jealous. I thought I'd been replaced. I suppose that um, after the divorce, I, uh, I felt cut off from you, and, and I, uh, well, I tried to overcompensate for all those lost years with Bobby. But she never replaced you, Rebecca. Never. I loved you both equally. But I have failed you as a father. You're right, I know that. I, the problem is, I, uh, I miss so much of you growing up that. And now I find I'm the father of this 24-year-old woman. I don't know who you are. Yeah, I guess it's a little like starting from the beginning, isn't it? Well, maybe we should. Introduce ourselves. 